Good evening and welcome to the Town of Douglas Conservation Commission for Monday, June 7th, 2021. This is a remote Zoom meeting and um, we begin at 7.02 p.m. First item is a roll call vote for the members. Katie? KG Dudley present. Here. Art and Mark. Mark Mungem's here. And Tracy Sharkey. First item would be reappointments. So we have two members coming up for reappointment. Um, are there any objections to the Board of Selectmen reappointing? Um, so Katie Grace and Mike Greco. Not hearing any objections, so we'll send um, our recommendation to the Board of Selectmen. And then the orders, um, we did a fabulous job getting the orders signed. Steve's waiting for a lot three ledge stone so that we can get an address. And, um, but other than that, we've signed, I, I did, I passed it along, um, Katie Gray. So once I got the four signatures, I just passed it to Steve. Okay, no, that's fine. I think that you, your emails went to my junk folder this time as opposed to my regular folder, and I missed them all. Okay. That's all right. I did them in any order the second time, so I canceled the first one. Um, so no problem at all with that. Okay. And then I am going to take, um, if you could take over once um, we do old business, because I'm going to recuse myself from the new business item. Okay. So Margaret, you'll just have to hang on for a little bit, but um, so we'll just get right into it for uh, old business, 7 p.m. public hearing continued Cedar Street and Webster Street bridge replacement project. And who's presenting name and address for the applicant? It's 705. 705, well, I have 704, but yeah. Okay. 705, yeah, 705, perfect. Ken, are you were presenting? <laughs> What's that? Oh, we're already, we're already on? <laughs> yeah, let's start rolling here. Okay. Okay, my, I, I apologize. Um, <laughs> I think the, the last time, the, the last meeting that we had on this, I think we were down to like basically like two issues. One had to do with the with the openness ratio of the culvert uh, with respect to like compliance with the replacement culvert guidelines. And the other one had to do with the, um, the, the, the feasibility of the replication. Now we have we have reached out to the DEP um, as as it was left with the, with the commission that we would try to get a um, get a final um, a final review from the DEP on this, and we sent the information to them on five fourteen. We followed up with an email to uh, to Judith um, on five twenty six, and I left a phone message with her. Today and uh, today we have we have heard nothing, um, so we can presume that can we presume that they, that they take no exception to the to the responses? Um, they basically in the in the final notification letter they basically left it up to the commission to make the decision on this. Now uh, on on another matter, I mean we're out of time here, people. Um, we filed this back in back in February and it's already been four months. We now have, the, we have awarded the contract. We have a contractor on, on board that's, that's basically, uh, we got to get moving on this or we're going to lose this construction season. Um, that's just the reality of it. The whole process has taken much longer for you know, than, than, than we had anticipated, but um, that's basically where we're at now. If we can, if we could talk about the openness ratio on the culvert, and I have had a chance to go back and look at the standards, you know, the, the, the optimum, I mean, the standards for culvert replacement. Now, you recall in our last discussion, we talked about 
the hydraulics of the culvert. When you make the opening wide, when you make the opening bigger, obviously you're going to let more flow through the culvert. And, yeah, and there's the potential for downstream flooding. So in, in the standards for culvert replacement, and I'm, and I'm going to quote one of the paragraphs right out of here, is before replacing a culvert or other crossing structure with a larger structure, it is essential that the replacement be evaluated for an in, its impacts on downstream flooding and upstream and downstream habitat, potential for erosion and stream stability. Well, we, we've, as we've indicated, when we did the hydraulics, uh, the hydraulic study over here, we're, we're bound by the requirements under the chapter 85 review that we cannot increase the level, the, you know, the elevation or the, 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 the level of flooding on either the inlet side or the outlet side of the culvert. So we have looked at the potential for downstream flooding. And since we're matching the existing conditions, then that's no longer, that, you know, that's no longer an issue. Um, it's not a mandatory requirement under the replacement guidelines that we that we have to meet this openness ratio. They simply they simply point you in that direction. And say, well, if you can, I mean, if you can't make it happen on on the basis, then you know you at least have to look at downstream flooding, which is what we've done. Um, I don't know I don't know how much clearer how much further I can take this argument. I mean, we've we we've, we've, we've gone through this already over uh, over a few times, and that was also in our response to the DEP. Um, regarding the wetland replication, um, we still contend that that the, on, under the limited project provisions under that, uh, that 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 language that the commission at its discretion is allowed to alter up or uh, to, to allow an applicant uh, to alter up to 500 square feet of wetland without having replication and this is based on 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 the presumption of you know you know the the, the commission taking into consideration site conditions and uh, you know is there a um, is there an area um, a, a, a available where it would, you know, where, where it would make sense to, to, you know, to provide a replication. And, you know, Jimmy and I have looked at this area around, particularly like around like the Bad Luck Pond. And, uh, you, you know, I mean, if, if, if you want us to, to, to produce uh, or, or to uh, create a, a wetland replication area on the side of a three to one slope that's adjacent to a major collector road, I mean, we certainly could do that simply by cutting the grass and putting wet, wet you know, wet mix on it. But there, there isn't, there's, there's no logical area or, 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 or a feasible area that we could, that we can actually do this replication where it would cause more harm than good by clearing the area to, to, to get a construction equipment in there. So, uh, I mean, you people, obviously you live in that area. So, I mean, you're, you're ultimately, but you're, you're, you're more familiar with the, you know, with that area. Than I certainly am. I mean, I'm I'm an hour away, here, so um, I, 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 it, it's open for discussion here. But um, we really we really need to you know bring this to some some conclusion uh, tonight. Okay, so the last point was the you're claiming the C in the 500. So. We had something that came up before. So when I was asking you with the semicolon, so it had to be less than 500 square feet, had to be a finger like adjacent, and it had to, in the judgment of the issuing authority, is not reasonable to scale down, redesign otherwise. So all you have to meet all three of those. So in our one of our wetlands consultants said that's not the way it's supposed to be the three, the one, two, and three of um, C in that section. So, I mean, Steve can weigh in. We would have to waive, authorize a waiver of uh, replication. It, you don't meet the, you don't meet that requirement in um, for 1055 4C. You do not meet that. Tracy, I just sent I just sent Steve some pictures we took today of the possible areas that we Who's, could replicate. I'm sorry, who's speaking? Name and address. Uh, yeah, uh, Jim Noyes um, uh, from Greenman Peterson, 181 Valleyvale Street in Wilmington. Yeah, I just sent Steve some pictures because we did look at the area that Ken was talking about was adjacent to um, Route 16, and right now it's 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 heavily. Well, I won't say heavily. It's it's moderately wooded. Um, there's a corner um, on 
between Route 16 and Cedar Street that we could also do some wetland replication and that is heavily vegetated. Um, so, I mean, we, we it's possible to do it, but I think that it just might do more harm than, than good in this instance. So we do need to just, um, you know, for the record, say that, that that doesn't meet the qualifications and I don't know how we would waive, we're waiving something in the Wetlands Protection Act that's required. Right, Steve? Yeah, I mean, we didn't get it, you know, it's, uh, it's on an interpretation, I suppose, between them, what Art says, and then, you know, DEP, a lot of people are retired, so it's hard to get any answers out of them. Oh, no, that's, that's how it reads. Right. It's an and. Right. You need to meet the three, the one, two, and three of section C. So that's no, there's no interpretation on that. Um, so we just need to, in our order, we are saying that because of site conditions and the, op the options for replication, that it would be in the best interest of the act to not replicate in this situation. We need to kind of have you all, that, which, so that, I, I tend to agree with Ken with sometimes you do more destruction trying to create a wetland and replicate it. Um, right. So in the order that we are issuing, I just want that to be known so that it's not um, something that we do on a regular basis, that it is, does not qualify for that section, but the board is uh, waiving that requirement. Um, so, and then I think that the, as far as the openness ratio, I think that's sorted out. I think that's, um, act, it's acceptable. Anyone else on the board have any questions or comments on this filing? So, uh, just so you know too, Tracy, that you're aware of, you know, the commission's aware, we did have a pre-construction meeting today with a contractor but we told them they couldn't start without the order condition. So I didn't want anybody to hear that. Oh, they were out on the site, you know, talking about construction. No, they, we, we brought that up first thing too. So. Okay, good. Hey, thanks yeah. for letting, letting us know. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they can get everything ready though. Um, so board, back to the board, Jim. Um, board, uh, Katie Grace. I have no comments or questions. I think that what you've laid out makes the most sense um, that we'll have to include somewhere in our order of conditions that we've decided it was the best interest in this project to not have a replication area because of the uniqueness of the site that we're dealing with in this case. Okay. Um, Art? No, I'm okay. Mark? I don't have a problem proceeding without having any replication. Eric? I'm, I'm, all, I'm all right. Anyone in the audience have any questions or comments on this hearing? Um, I'll entertain a motion to close the public hearing. So moved. Second. Second by Katie Grace. Roll call vote. Art Bompany, aye. Katie Dudley, aye. Eric Harris, aye. Mark Monjamai. Okay. And then I'll entertain a motion to issue the order of conditions with the language that we um, spoke about earlier? Yes, I would make a motion for the board to issue the order of conditions um, with, uh, with the understanding that we're not asking uh, for a replication of wetlands in this case because of the uh, unique conditions upon the site. Okay, motion's made. Second. Second by Art, roll call vote. Art Montmany, aye. Katie Dudley, aye. Eric Harris, aye. Mark Monjamai. Okay, thank you very much. We'll get the order out to everyone to sign and um, you can put your sign up, put your erosion controls in and get rolling. Great, thank you very much. Just call Steve. Uh, thank you very much everybody for your patience on this one. I know it's been, uh, uh, it, 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 it's, it's kind of unique to the town, but um, yeah, uh, we'll, 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 all, we'll all get there. So your, yeah. your, your patience is very much appreciated. You're lucky we're not in person. You don't have to be driving back and forth. So you guys are all lucky. Have a good Thanks night. Thanks for approving it before you went back to in person. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, really. I, no problem. No problem. Thanks. 
Have a good yeah. one. You too. All right, thank you. Bye. Bye. Good night. Okay, the next item at 717, uh, the public hearing continue notice of intent Blackstone Logistics Center Street. Uh, they've requested a continuance to, uh, it was June 21st, right, 7 p.m.? Yes. Um, board, what do we think about staggering because we are going to be in person? I guess they, they could be first, right? Do we have anything else on for the 21st? Well, the 21st right now, we have uh, three public hearings, 62 Manitowoc Street, St. Dennis Church. I'm, I, I don't just they might continue. Um, okay. We have 175 Southwest Main Street. Um, where, you know, I, I talked to Byron. He, I, he might have been here tonight, but I emailed him, let him know it's on for the 21st because I gave him a heads up. They, they didn't apply for the DEP number, so they just did, I think, two days ago. Okay. And then um, Chestnut Street, Steve Swartz. All right, so let's put them on at 7 p.m. actually. So I'll entertain a motion to continue Blackstone Logistics to uh, June 21st at 7 p.m. So moved. Motion seconded. Seconded. Uh, roll call vote. All right, Mountain, aye. KG Dudley, aye. Eric Harris, aye. Mark Monjamai. Okay. Thank you very much. Next item on the agenda, uh, public hearing continue notice of intent 36 Maple Street, Kevin Hart. 719. 719. Who's presenting, name and address please. Hello, uh, Margaret Bacon, Civil Site Engineering, and I'm here representing Kevin Hart for 36 Maple Street. Uh, I think we were just waiting for the DEP number, correct? Sure, and I did uh, some minor revisions to the plan. You yeah. wanted uh, okay. area construction limits and riverfront calculations, and that was submitted on a revised plan. Okay, wonderful. Um, what's the plan date on that? Uh, hang on. Oh, uh, revise June 3rd. Okay, June 3rd. Board, did anybody have any other questions or comments on this one? On what one? 36 Maple, the revised plan. I see we got a DEP number now. Yes. We do. One, one four, three, 10, 22. Are we going to show the plan? Yep. Let me see. Let me bring it up. This should be a June fifth. Yep. So you can see I put in a stockpile area. Uh, I, the riverfront calculations down there on the bottom, right below Maple Street there, uh, right little mm -hmm. straight down. Mm -hmm. yeah. and then uh, the limits, are, are construction limits on the uh, project site. And uh, I think those were the, uh, the only comments at the last meeting, those revisions. Mm-hmm. Okay. Perfect. Board, anything else? Um, Katie Grace. I had no other comments on this. I appreciate the plan updates. Art. No, I'm I'm good. She already moved the house and septic a bit, so I, I'm good. Okay. Mark. I'm fine. I love this lot. And Eric? Uh, yeah, I wasn't here for the last meeting, but it looks good to me, though. Okay. 
Anyone in the audience have any questions or comments uh, regarding this application? Not seeing anyone. Um, board, would we like to close the public hearing? So moved. Motion's made. Seconded. Seconded. Roll call vote. Art right, Mopini, aye. KG Dudley, aye. Eric Harris, aye. Mark Munjama, aye. Okay. I'm entertaining a motion to issue the order. With our normal conditions. Yep. Yep, so moved. Motion Seconded. Made. Seconded. Roll call vote. Art right, Mopini, aye. KG Dudley, aye. Eric Harris, aye. Mark Monjamai. Okay, thank you very much. Good luck. Thank you. And when do you think I could get a copy of the order? Um, I'll be doing them this week. Okay. You can just let me know when it's ready. Okay. So we'll just email it over to you and you can print it and then record it at the registry. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, next item on the agenda is public hearing continue notice of intent 69 Hemlock Street. And we do have a DEP number for that. Um, it is uh, 1023. Yep. We got, it after, we got it after I sent the agenda to the. Okay. That's why sometimes I have to send that in by the Tuesday before the meeting. Okay. This was at 724. At 724. Thank you, Art. Um, let me bring the plan up. Is, is Bob here? Trav, sorry, hold on a second. I'm looking at the plan. that our next applicant. Yeah, <laughs> part of a public hearing, right? That's what happens. Yeah, mine does that sometimes too. I don't know if Bob Mur Murphy's here, but here's the he sent the revised plan. I think from the last meeting, he, the shed. Which is on here now. It wasn't on there. Right. Um, there we go. We cleaned out and removed. Sorry about that, folks. No problem. Okay. That, so, that and the DEP number, I think, were the two major features. So, uh, do we get an updated plan? This is it. Okay. I'm on the shed. Um, and Bob's not. Oh, who is BB55562? Anybody? Okay. Did you say we got a DEP number now, Steve? Right, we do. It should be, uh, I think it's, well, I'm going to say 143-1023. Hang on, let me. Yep, I said it. Yeah, 1023. Is it on? The, I, I take a snapshot of the, um, on Saturday of the uh, DEP website, and it should be in, this, in the OneDrive. Okay. Hang on a second. Is this up signature on the signature of signature of applicant and representative should be provided to the commission for a complete application? Do we have that? Was that on my checklist? That was on uh, DP's comments, hmm. and I don't think I have. I didn't see that. I, I usually check the uh, I that unless that was on my checklist. Let me check my checklist. <laughs> Like, I usually check that. Isn't this the one where they asked us to consider a minor project and look for lower fees? Yeah. It is. Yeah, we did. Um, we already voted for that, didn't we? Okay. I don't think we have the application in our portal, do we? I'm checking from last meeting. What was the last meeting? Was that the Sometimes he might, uh, cause he, he didn't, I don't think he electronically sent it to me. Let's see, I have in my checklist, uh, green card, the butters. I know I signed, I checked off that it was signed. Um, can we just double check that? Do we wanna, or do we wanna move forward with this even though the applicant's not here or do we wanna continue this? You want to just want maybe continue it to later until the last item in the meeting? 
Um, I, okay. I mean, just so you know, I mean, I think I, che- I mean, if it's, I checked it on my checklist, but when I was out on the site, I did meet the applicants. They're, part, they're in the video when I took it, so they're aware of the NOI. Well, we could pro- yeah, we could probably condition it on making sure that we have the application signed by both parties. Um, yeah, I'm guessing that the hard copy, because they put it in a drop box and it was a little wet, that's why the plan was wet, but I, I'm anticipating maybe the hard copy was signed and an electronic copy that Bob sent to them wasn't signed, but I'm just speculating. Okay, so board, do we want to continue to a later time tonight? Do we want to continue to the next meeting or do we want to close this hearing and issue the order? I'm okay with issuing the order with the contingency that we have a signed application. Yeah. Um, I was looking for the shed to be shown on the plan last time and it is now, so. Okay. Yeah, I was kind of hoping to wait to see if they showed up later tonight, but there's nothing that's preventing me from, like, I don't have any hard stops with this plan anymore. Okay. Mark? I'd be fine with proving it now. Okay. Mark? Yeah, if there's nothing else to say, then I guess we can just prove it. Okay. All right. <laughs> Anyone in the audience have any questions or concerns on this hearing? Please speak now. Okay, not seeing any. We close the public hearing. Motion made. Second. Second. Second by Katie Grace. Um, all those in favor, roll call vote. Mark Montmany, aye. A.D. Dudley, aye. Eric Harris, aye. Mark Monjamai. Okay. Entertain a motion. I uh, move that we issue an order of conditions um, as long as we have signed the uh, signed application by everybody. Motion is made. Seconded. Seconded. Roll call vote. Our Pompany, aye. KG Dudley, aye. Eric Harris, aye. Mark Munjamai. Okay. You're all set in the, in the atmosphere. <laughs> you all. <laughs> okay. Um, Steve, anything else besides we've got to reserve our room, we've got to be in person, you will be, you're on mute, you will be remote. I sent Chris, uh, the town clerk, an email already asking to reserve the room with a copy of our schedule for the rest of the remaining of the year. And if that is not, wherever that room is not available to reserve the regular meeting room. Okay. Well, that's that's it. We good with that? Okay. Steve, anything else before I leave? No. Anything okay. new on uh, minutes from back in February? I think all the minutes have been approved, right? No, no, no. Oh. We're way behind. Uh, we did a bunch last time, but we're... Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, nothing, nothing from... Uh, she hasn't sent anything from the last meeting. I'll send another email out. Okay. I was just going to say, because I haven't gotten any to, to take a look at. Uh, um we're good up to 222, Steve. Um, I think Two, February 8th was the last one we, I think we were good on. I think I did a March, didn't we do a March 15th? Yeah, but that was out of order. Um, that one we did, uh, we still got Mar- uh, February 22nd and March 1st, and then two in April, and then, you know, on from there. I'll check the chat. I'll check the, uh, the, uh, I'll resend here the um, spreadsheet I did. Okay. And I'll follow up and I'll CC you on that, Art. Okay, thank you. Welcome. The other one I had a question about before, Tracy, you leave um, was we asked for a plan from uh, the violation we discussed last meeting. So would you get yeah. it? Did we get anything? We get not, nothing yet. That's on for the uh, on a discussion on June twenty first. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, they needed. A, I think they needed some time on that. That's valid. Thanks. Great. Um, um, I just okay. had a question. Yeah. So the next meeting we're going to be required to be in person. Yes. Is that on uh, June twenty first. Yes. Okay. Just wanted to confirm. Um, 
I believe that as long as we have a quorum present and sitting that we can have additional uh, members zoom in because we'll still have, right, Steve? We'll still have Zoom set up. Well, I'm not sure how that's going to work. I, you know, I don't know how that's going to work either. I just, you know, it might be good just to have everyone show up until another board figures it out, maybe. I'm not sure. Right? Okay. Um, and how will you be, are you going to use Zoom or are you going to? I guess we go back to the regular agenda. Okay. Okay. Well, give me a call when you get a chance. And we'll, but yeah, we'll have to be in person. Why, Eric, where are you? I'm home, so I just I didn't know if it was like optional or whatever. If you couldn't make well, it tonight, well, um, let me show my AC off. Let me um, is Pat is Pat Pat's not on the um, no, no, well, nope, it's Sarah. Do you know Do you know how cable is handling that with uh, are they doing? Um, are they I doing don't know hybrid? offhand. No, a hybrid. Uh, yeah. That would be a Pat question. I'll ask, I'll send an email to Pat if there's a hybrid op uh, op alternative. Okay. I'm pretty sure there is. Um, any experts or other attendees may attend remotely. Decision of the chair. So, All right. So, I can concerning board committee meetings last night, which was last um, Tuesday, the June first. All board committee members must attend in person. Any experts or other attendees may attend remotely. And. So if you want, we can still send the Zoom. I would, yeah, I mean, I would like that. Yeah, I mean, and people can, if they want to attend, they, I guess they could, or you, or you don't want them to, you just want the members to attend. Um, I would say it's members will need to be present and then the attendees and the support staff can Zoom in. But they have to Zoom in or they sure. Is it be present. Yeah. That's what we've been doing for planning board pretty much the whole time. Yeah. Right. It's as long as we don't collide, because we already reserved the Zoom for the rest of the year anyway. We do. Right? Yes. So I think we should just keep it going like we're going, except for the board members will be together. I like it. I thought that. Um, the attorney general's office said that only a quorum was required to be present, but I'll just double check that. So for June 21st, the first time, we'll just as many, as long as four people, I mean, we can run the meeting, um, but I'll just double check on the two other people. If two people could be, the issue is going to be if I need somebody, if there's only three people, I'm going to need people someone then to leave their house. Confused. Yeah. So I can't really, that's not really fair. So we'll just, for now, we'll just have board members come to the town hall. Sounds good. Okay. All right. Hi, right, Tracy. All right, I'm gonna recuse myself for the rest of the meeting and leave for the night at 7.35. And you guys have lots of fun. Thank you. Don't take too long because you, you don't have a DP number, so. Got to do anyway. Anyway. No. Okay, great. Hi, I mean, good night. Bye. <laughs> good night. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Okay. Okay. The next item we do have, however, even though it doesn't have a DEP number, we can open the public hearing because it does have a, we do have the advertisement. So, yeah, the 7 736. 7 36 p.m. All right. So, this is Shore Road. Town of Douglas Conservation Commission, 29 Depot Street, Douglas, Massachusetts, legal notice, public here and pursuant to Mass General Laws, Chapter 131, Section 40, Massachusetts Wetlands Protection Act. The Town of Douglas Conservation Commission will hold a public hearing on June 7th at 7 p.m. for NIO night filed by the Douglas Properties LLC located at Shore Road for work to be done pursuant to the Town of Douglas bylaws. And the Wetland Protection Act, MTL 131, Section 40. The purpose of the work involves proposed construction of a single family home and appurtenances. Proposed construction and activities are within the 100% 100 foot buffer zone. 
of bordering vegetated wetlands. Public participation will be via virtual means only pursuant to Governor Baker's March 12, 2020 order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law. 3818 and the governor's March 15, 2020 order imposing strict limitation on the number of people that may gather in one place. This meeting of the Douglas Conservation Commission will be conducted via remote participation. Public may participate in this meeting via remote participation. The website will be provided on the conservation agenda posted on the town's website at least 48 hours prior to the meeting. Copies of the NOA may be examined electronically by contacting the Conservation Commission. Thank you. Single family house in appurtenances. I like that word. That could be a lot of things. Yeah. All right. Uh, go ahead. I'm Margaret. I'm assuming name and address. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, for the record, Margaret Bacon, Civil Site Engineering, and I'm here representing my client, Douglas Properties, regarding a. Uh, Proposed uh, single family house and septic system there on Shore Road. Uh, as you can see, um, I have the wetlands are off to the, uh, the left hand side. Uh, and then you can see the 50 foot buffer zone uh, there. And then, uh, so the house, so we're, we're outside of the 50 foot buffer zone but the driveway part of the house and a small, very small section of the septics within the 100 foot buffer zone. Uh, what else? I know Steve had a couple of comments uh, that I have to address on the plan. Wetland flags uh, apparently had that layer off, so that needs to be shown. Uh, yeah, there are culverts on uh, Shore Road. Uh, yeah. There, Steve. I think it's off to the uh, the left a little further. Yeah, there's there's actually two of them, um, and it's been it might be good to show the video on those because it's been uh, they've been one of them has been uh, an issue. It's blocked. And let me see if I can bring up the video. So this is the property to the left, Shore Road. Um, this is the Millers across the street. And th there's a pipe, this the highway's looking at this now, the guy uh, who owns the, the solar farm, um, this is a pipe that goes, one of the culvert pipes and it's not working. Um, there was a sinkhole in the middle of the road a, a few months ago, they thought they fixed it. So what happened, water comes down here and you can see how it runs down Shore Road. Some of it takes a right down this lady's driveway. And the commission remembers uh, they came in with the solar farm and repaired the driveway last winter. It, it washed out again. So some of it comes down her driveway, Madeline's, and, and some of it takes a left where this white truck is. So there's another, I'll show this first. He actually repaired it again. I kind of, and he's working with uh, the DEP. Uh, John Fern of the highway department, but there's actually another culvert here um, where water, where this water runs off from the earth to site and it goes towards one of Lake. So there's a culvert on either side of your property. I think your driveway is going to be up in here somewhere. But I just wanted to make you aware of that, that, you know. When, when did you take this video, Steve? Friday or Saturday. This Friday and Saturday. Yeah. Not when there was a lot of rain. Well, this is right after we had the heavy rain uh, last week. Yeah, so is this because of the solar farm? No, because of uh, the solar farm is, uh, it's all, they have uh, three or four huge attention ponds. That's all constructed up there. Yeah, you know, I, I, I did a lot of uh, uh, investigation back when we did the Wallam Lake uh, subdivision. Right. Those culverts that go under Shore Road, I've never seen them that, that much water in those. Okay, that, that's why I asked. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. I do know but that. Um, this was June 5th, whenever that was. Okay, and those, those, those culverts that go under the road, too, though, I, I don't know if those, I don't think there's any easements yeah. to those culverts. 
experts. And then also too, what kind of size pipe is on the other side? I mean, I think that's an- un I'm not, Yeah, I'm not sure if that's on your property or not. So I'm just letting you know, or- I don't think it is, but I'll, I will double check. I mean, if it is, I, I should have that on the plan. I just want to make you aware that it's for your drainage and you know, right. and, um, maybe yeah. talk to the highway department about some of the flow issues that they're having. Yeah, well, I, I, I okay. Well, I'll, I'll make sure I'll, I'll double check to make sure uh, those aren't on the property. Like I said, if they are, they should be on the plan, but. Right. Um, so I really don't know what, you know, we can do about that. Just, no, I, I just want to let you know, cause not to fill them in or I'm not sure if they're on your property or, you know, if they're not on the plan, if you sell the, the, the project, the contractor, he might not be aware of it given the winter time or the time of year. And so if they're not marked on the plan, it might, someone might inadvertently just fill them in. Yeah. So are those stormwater basins up above at the solar farm working? Yeah, they seem to be, yeah, that, that, that massive one's up there. Oh, it's pretty wet up there, you know. Yeah, there. Uh, I was out there a couple of weeks ago, and uh, is the entire the entire back of that property is one big detention pond almost. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know when we designed the subdivision up there, we had three three basins just because of the the conditions. But yeah, so they're all constructed, hydro seeded. So that's why he was a little surprised um, where the okay. you know. But it looks like that that black pipe might be being have something to do with the runoff going down Shore Road. Okay. Yeah, like I say, we don't know what size pipe that is. You know, you see the inlet. Anyway, right. well, I'll be mindful of that. I, I do have to make a couple. I of wondered if you call it out because it wasn't on your your plan. So there is a couple of culverts there, FYI. Okay. And then yeah, obviously you know the the uh, the, the flags run on there, and then. You were probably associated with the wetland delineation that was done years ago, so you're pretty much mirroring what was done with the. Well, I and I redid it. I, I redid. It. I I could still actually find some of the old flags, but uh, right. I can provide the, the BVW data sheets if you want. No, but you're pretty close. Like there was an ANRAD that that was done with the subdivision 20, 15 years ago, right? B, I think BC B, uh, BSC reviewed it for, for as a consultants for the town. So that wetland was pretty well looked at and reviewed a few times. One, I think one for the original subdivision, Lakewood Estates and for the solar farm. So yep. if you're mirroring that, that's good. I, I'm sure you're associated and have that information. Yep. Um, okay, since we don't have the, obviously a DEP number, I guess uh, uh, if the, the board has any other comments, uh, now would be a good time, uh, you know, hear what you have to say. So if I do have to make revisions, I can uh, try to make them all at once. Yeah, no, for certain, Margaret. Um, yeah, I'll ask the rest of my board first. Art? Uh, Steve, did you, uh, you did get the green cards, right? Yeah, I got the green card. Yeah, actually, good point. All right, hang on. I'm gonna bring the plan. I was gonna bring the plan back up. I got the green cards, and they all checked except for one. Um, MGM Thirty Realty Trust. Okay, as it came in as of today. Yeah, I mean that's the only one you wasn't on your list, but that's fine. I mean, if you, I think if by 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 the next meeting, you should have that. You said. It's 127 Shore Road. Anything else, sir? Uh, not right now. Okay. Mark? Margaret, did you give any consideration or look at maybe putting the driveway on the other side of the house or shifting the house? further to the south to move it away from the wetlands further? Yeah, well, I did. And if you look in the front, you'll see there's kind of like a depression uh, right there, Steve. We got the, the pointer. I, I didn't really want to fill that in because that kind of acts as a, a, a kind of a natural little stormwater basin. I, I didn't want to because I know there's issues with drainage on Shore Road. So I didn't mm -hmm. really want to move the system over that way and fill that in. Well, that's not where the culvert is either, is it? That might be where that culvert is, right? It's just a depression with a lot of 
rocks. Mm. So I just kind of wanted to, to leave that intact the way it was for drainage. Okay. And what about the house and moving the house further to the south? You can see I, I try to keep the house centered over the septic. And then, you know what, designing septics, you always kind of have to think 3D. And so right where the septic is, is really the, the flattest area of that lot. So the more I, I move it to the, the right, then you start to see the topo lines, the existing topo lines start to go up. Then, then, then everything comes up and then more fill comes in, more grading. So I, and even though I got groundwater at two feet there, you're still bringing in a lot of fill, but I just try to minimize. I try to put it in the flattest area, but if you start going up the, uh, the grade lines and the, the groundwater in theory goes up with you. And so everything comes up. So it was kind of a balancing act. Okay. Because of the fill, you try to, you know, then that gets uh, graded up to the foundation. So you like to keep the house pretty much centered over the septic. And does the water come down the driveway and directly onto Shore Road? Or does it, do you take it off before it gets to Shore Road? Well, actually I've got it kind of, uh, uh, pitched going to the uh, the left a little. You see those grade lines on the driveway? Just a, yeah. a slight slant to the left. And then as you see at the bottom of the driveway, I got, yeah, 102, it looks like, uh, uh, and then uh, right there, yeah. bring the arrow right down uh, to the bottom of the driveway and go to the left, yeah. And then, the, so I've got a, a 103, 102, and then a 101 into the wetland between the property line and shore road. So that ditch may have to be uh, defined a little more, but I want to take a look at that culvert that Steve brought up. There's two of them, I think. Yeah, I, want, I want to take a yeah. look at that. Isn't the driveway pitching uphill or into the uphill side of the driveway and not, if you said there's a hollow and the hollow is 98, shouldn't that be where the water wants to go? Well, I've got, yeah, I've got to pitch the other way. Because I, because of the culverts on the other side. But let, let me, like I say, let me take a look at that, Mark. Okay. Yeah, we should show the culverts on here. I yeah. agree with Steve. Yeah. Even if it's not working. Well, maybe I'll do the calcs too. And I'll, I'll maybe I can pitch it the other way. Let me just, just take a look at that. Yeah. Thanks. And Eric? Um, yes, I just want to confirm how many culverts are we talking about on this property? Or I, I don't think there's any on this property, but they're on the uh, adjoining properties, and I'm going to confirm that and show it on the plan. Okay. Yeah, but Shore Road's been an ongoing problem with, right. with this. Um, Steve, did you say somebody had contacted Ferno and, and his, his guys? Well, uh, Saturday, I think it was actually when I went out there on Saturday, when I got back the um, Friday, Monday, Friday, Saturday, the, the, uh, the uh, lady that's driveway washed out, I think she contacted the, the contractor for the solar farm because he repaired it before the detention ponds were in. Right. He said he, his email was like, well, you know, I don't think it was really from the site because the detention ponds were in, but he repaired it anyways. And then he asked uh, for some advice about contacting the, uh, the highway superintendent. And so I gave him Ferno's contact information um, because I knew that there was a um, sinkhole. That pipe, I think that pipe in the middle of Shore Road caused a sinkhole. So there was a bust in it and they supposedly they repaired it. But that's why I had him contact the highway to department to see if they repaired it or how that was repaired because now it seems like that repair wasn't really adequate whatever they did maybe it collapsed again yeah we're going to come up with a better long-term solution i'd want a better long-term solution if i was a resident down there i know that mm. and, and that road's all getting torn up by this too if you take a ride down there uh, um steve i can imagine that you were bouncing all over the place growing that, down there all right that happens every year uh, geez. They, every year they grade it, and every That's year, cool. every year it gets washed out by the uh, because it's not paved. Um, and, and yeah, you get it's and that's 
it's pretty good to how it used to be. Um, well, part of this private a private road too, right? Yes. Yeah, that's part of the problem, probably. It is. Yep. Okay. No. Yeah, the best the best thing way if you want to go down to there. I mean, right now you can go through Rhode Island and come in the backside. Just yeah. Go, go by the entrance of Long Lake Terrace, and then you'll come to your first right, and then you'll come to the. Um, you take a right, and then before you get to the hospital down there, the end of Wallam Lake, you can take another right in that shore road. Is, is the board going to want to uh, walk the site? And the reason I'm asking if you want me to stake the house in the septic? I would like to see it. I don't know if anyone else would, though. I would like to walk the site. I... Um... I, I don't think you need to stake anything more than than the yeah. The... I, I think it'd be good to stake the center of the drive the driveway at Shore Road just so you can get, orientate yourself to. Right. If I just had the driveway done, I can I can guesstimate where the house and the and the septic are going to be. If you want to stake the rest of it, that's fine too. I but I probably will take a walk there. Yeah, I may as well. Do you think you could get that done, Margaret, before our June 21st meeting? Um, yes. I probably won't get it done this week, but I'm sure I can get it done next week. So I'll have it staked in prior to the 21st. So, yeah, I'll be staked uh, not by this weekend, but definitely by the following. Okay. All right. And, Steve, did you say we had an actual address? We don't. We don't. I'll see if I can get one. That's important. Right. Right. So the question for the next meeting is um, do the uh, the applicants get to Zoom it or do I, we have to come in? Uh, well, for the 21st? Yeah. You can Zoom it. Oh, great. So that's, that's staying in place then. Applicants still Zooming. You, if you want, you can certainly come in, but I think you'll have the option to Zoom if you want to Zoom, Margaret. Long drive. <laughs> yeah. What are these Zoom meetings? All right, anything else? I will entertain a motion to continue. So moved. Uh, I move, um, we move the Shore Road project to June 21st. Second. Seconded by Mark. Roll call vote. Eric Montmany, aye. Eric Harris, aye. Mark Munjamai. KG Dudley, aye. Thank you, Margaret. Thank you. Hi, Margaret. Hopefully we have a, a, a DEP number by then as well. Oh, hi, Margaret. You still there? Yep, still here. I just want to just, uh, is... Chestnut Street. I know we can't talk about it, but is that staked? Yes, I, got, I staked that uh, last week. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Right. Thank you. I'm almost done. All right. Do we? Oh, gosh, I've the agenda. So, uh, sorry, did everyone hear that about Chestnut Street? So, I, think, yes. I, don't, I don't think an email went out, but just uh, if, if you want to go out there. Um, does everyone know where it is? I'll, I'll try to send a re, um, another location map on it. No, I don't know where that is. Well, it's, 40, it's 42, so it's... Yeah, you came up with an actual address. The first time I went out there, there was just a lot number. Right. Lot 5A, yeah, we got 42 now. Okay. Hands why I like addresses. Me too. Okay. And then we've got 175 Southwest Main is next week, too. It is. Okay. I just, just started looking at that email, too. Where is your agenda? There it is. Okay. How's the OneDrive going? The OneDrive is great. 
Is it good compared to the Google Drive? Yeah, it works just as well. Um, I mean, I use Firefox on Linux Ubuntu, and it's fine. Yeah, did you change your system? They did, Mark. They went from, uh, there's no more Google email or Google drives. It's, I, it's gone. It's gone? It's all gone. It's all, they went right to Microsoft OneDrive or 365. Micro, Microsoft 365. 365. Email. Yeah. And the we, OneDrive, OneDrive is, it's Microsoft, but it's built on SharePoint, which is universal. Okay. I thought something was different tonight. I was not able to download stuff or whatever it just wasn't it wasn't working the same yeah. so i didn't like it okay i had the same problem last meeting there was one one plan that i couldn't open yeah um, maybe um oh it was a plan was it a pdf i i don't remember now but i could open everything else there was just one plan that it, it opened for like a millisecond and then it was it would close okay I got that one to open because I double, so I didn't mention it because we had moved on, but I, after you told me about that one, I made sure that I could open it and I could. Was it a PDF? Right. I'll, I'll make sure that it's, I try to send PDFs. I think that's what we do. <clears throat> it may have been just my iPad didn't like it. It could have been your iPad didn't like it. <laughs> well, sometimes I, I'm wondering if it's a plan that was sent by the applicant and they had a different version of, of a PDF because I use a lot of times I scan I mark it for, for you for the Zoom I mark the plans I color the plans and we have a, a, a scanner a, a plan size scanner in the office so I scan the plans and then I send that to everybody um, and it, maybe it was a plan that was sent by someone else could be I mean I'm opening the PDFs in the web browser so I think that that Firefox is what's handling them because I'm my operating system is not doing that. Anyways, they, it works for me. Okay. Um, all right, so I don't have anything else on the agenda tonight. I entertain a to, motion to close. I move to at 7.59. Wow. Seven, look at us go. Huh? Not even sunset. Yeah. Grab your striker poles. I'll second. All right, roll call vote. All right, Matt, many aye. Eric Harris, aye. Mark Monjamai. KG Dudley, aye. And I will see you guys on the 21st. Bye, guys.